and welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new my name is Kristen and I am going to be making my third Abyssal Crosswave review video. This is a very highly requested video. Everything is my own opinion. I do not go by the directions of Abyssal knowing maybe you should but I feel like the iPad vacuum cleaners and stuff for so long and I highly doubt anybody picks up the instruction manual and like reads on specifically how to do everything. These are just my tips and tricks on how I do things. Either you want to listen to them or you don't. I have had my Bissell Crosswave for all, over a year now, almost a year and a half, and I absolutely love it. I would recommend it to anybody and anyone who is even like wanting to or even like looking at it. I would say buy this. It has cut down my cleaning time so much. It is incredible. Um, I'm not going to go over everything I did in my other videos just because I feel like maybe you could go back. I know they're older, so maybe they're like the quality isn't as good as things, but I will just go over bits and pieces of what I think. So number one, I love mine because like I said, it cuts my time in half when I clean. So I used to have to take a broom and sweep everything up and that would mop and I would collect hair in the corners and stuff like that. I used to use a spin mop and sometimes that works for people so I'm not going to put down a spin mop because I have no I have no issues with it and then I would also have to take a Swiffer duster and dust the whole floors to pick up all the hair that my broom didn't pick up along with like my mop When I use this this vacuums and mops in one. I absolutely love it I think I have the older version of it So it's not the newest one that works on carpets Mine only works on hardwood floors or like laminate floors is what we have and that also works on rugs So I use it on my rugs some rugs it does not go through I just recently purchased a new rug and I can barely get my crosswave over it just maybe because I have the multi purpose brush you can get a multi-purpose brush or which works on rugs and it works on hard floors I don't have both of those I just have a multi-purpose one you can get specific ones for just rugs only or just hard floors only like I said I do not have that so maybe I should invest in something like that so maybe it would work better but it is super hard to push along my new rug I don't know what it is but I can't get it through so I just don't use that on my rug I've tried many times and that just doesn't seem to work the way I want so one of the biggest questions is what solution do I use to clean with I do a lot of cleaning videos and I always have my crosswave in all these videos I do not use the Bissell cleaner that comes with it. I have used it in the past. Mine like came with a sample, so I used it. I thought it left my floors really filmy. And plus I have little kids and they're always running across it or dropping their food on it and picking up and eating it. I don't like all the chemicals on my floor. I don't mind chemicals because that's what I have to use in like my bathtub and stuff like that. But when I do the floors, I don't want my kids running across the floor with just chemical everything, picking up their fruit sacks and putting it in their mouth. I use vinegar and I use essential oil. Sometimes I just use cleaning vinegar and I don't even use an essential oil. I don't mind the smell of vinegar. I think it smells clean and fresh in the house. Yes, it has a really nasty smell, but I just think that if my house smells like that, then it smells super clean. So that is what I use on the back of the little um, container that you fill your clean your water up with has a line for water and then it has line for formula and then I just put five or six drops of essential oils. If you do decide to do it this way, just make sure you don't overload it with essential oil. So I know a lot of people have oil diffusers and stuff like that so they compare it to that. It will leave your floors soapy. I don't know why it does that, but it leaves them so, so soapy if you have too much essential oils in. So I do like three to five drops, maybe even sometimes not at all. And then you do want to make sure that you clean your little clean water tank out thoroughly or you're going to have tons of soap suds. So that is like the biggest thing that I mess up on all the time because sometimes I don't clean it out enough. I just rinse it because there's only clean water that goes in there. So there's a clean water tank and a dirty water and you can definitely tell the difference. That is what I use. That is what I choose to use. Yes, it probably doesn't say that in the instruction manual, but you know what? It works for my house. And like I said, I've had this for a year and a half and I don't have any issues with it. The one, I guess one issue, I have one issue with it and make sure when you're done mopping, you just clean it out because I have done this multiple times where I've just like I don't feel like cleaning this out I don't clean it out the next day everything like the hair and stuff in the holes is dried up and crusted to the inside which I know it sounds kind of gross but just clean it out when you're done also sometimes the clean water tank sits upside down like this so the water can go through and it will leak all over my floor so like I said when I'm done I just I just clean it out I don't leave it around I just clean it out and that is the best way to do it also to clean it 
I just rinse everything with hot water and clean thoroughly and then I will take just a little bit of dish soap and then just soak my stuff and scrub it out with a washcloth. There's all kinds of places and crevices to clean this cross wave. I don't do this on a regular basis because there is so much to clean. I can take a little toothbrush. There's also a little hole that the water goes down and in, but also all of your dirt and stuff goes up inside as well. So I always have to take like a paper towel and clean it through to make sure you get all the hair or it will get clogged up. I've never had it clog up because I always, always clean this. So that is just like one of the things to always do is clean that little tube. It's like hidden, but once you take your dirty water tank off, it's sitting right there. There's always hair that's just, there's always hair. There's hair everywhere. And then the biggest thing that I never cleaned, which might sound disgusting, is the bottom of the mop. Clean the bottom of the mop. Because the first time this vacuum mop thing fell over, I was disgusted by myself that I have never cleaned underneath my mop. It was so gross. There was hair all over the bottom. Like it is just something that needs to be cleaned. Another question is how wet does it leave your floors? There's a little button right at the top that you squirt the water out. I normally like to do this the, almost the whole entire time I mop and then I like to go back over without holding the button down so it just vacuums up the water. So it should only take like three to five minutes for your whole floor to be completely dry. So if it doesn't, you're probably using too much water unless that's specifically what you wanted to do. But I think you use way too much water and just don't. And then if you do, just Stop pushing the button and just vacuum it up because it'll be fine. Like it doesn't, it does not take, that's like one thing I love about it. It doesn't take long to dry so I can move all my furniture back. So when I actually do a deep clean like under my furniture and stuff, it only takes five minutes so you can just move everything back. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Another thing that I get asked a lot is what does it actually suck up? So I'm going to tell you, I have the multi-purpose brush and it is very tight to the top and to the floor where it cleans. So I have seen all the infomercials where it says it will clean up your eggs and it will clean up this and that and this and that. No, it doesn't. It does not even clean up fruit snacks. And I'm not going to lie, like I don't have an issue just cleaning it up or picking up with my hands, but it does clean up like dog and cat food because I do that all the time. It cleans up all kinds of dirt but fruit snacks I cannot get in a vacuum cleaner but like big crumbs work I mean I haven't actually tried to like suck an egg up like I'm I don't want to clean like I've never tried to suck an egg up and I don't want to because I don't want to clean up the mess but so yeah I think it cleans up stuff probably as big as a piece of like big dog food that's what I that's what I would say so yes and it tends to not clean up super sticky areas. I don't care how slow you go over it. It doesn't clean it up. There's been many people that have watched my video saying I vacuum too fast. That's because I use a like a fast mode speed because nobody wants to watch me vacuum for like 30 minutes. So anyways, you do want to use this soup slow not as fast as the vacuum but you know that if you use a vacuum slow it tends to pick up more just as this one does as well. But like I said, Every single time I mop, I mop and use this once, even maybe sometimes twice a week, and my water is so dirty, so I know that it works, and I know that it cleans stuff up. I am super obsessed, like, I am really obsessed with this, like, I do, I love this thing so much, and, like, being a stay-at-home mom, I have, like, I feel like I don't have full responsibility, so I'm not even going to, like, say that so people can, like, judge on here, but I feel like I have the responsibility of, like, cleaning the house and mopping the floors, so whatever way works for me, this way takes off probably 30 minutes of time like I don't know what I did before this but I know it's amazing the only thing I really don't like about this is that it doesn't have like a little handle to like get behind the toilet and stuff so I do just like we'll take something and like clean behind the toilet and it doesn't get the cracks and crevices as good like the tiny little corners and stuff like that like with a vacuum unless you take the hose out this one doesn't have a hose so it doesn't work like that but that is like my only pet peeve about it because I still have to get like on my hands and knees later on and pick up all the crumbs or even just like go back over with my normal vacuum hose and just clean up all the dirt and crumbs that this one didn't clean up. But I think for the majority of the part it does work pretty well because when I clean my kitchen and I can clean up all the way up to like the sides of my cabinets and it seems to work just fine. So I think it cleans up pretty pretty well. So yeah so I would say after a year and a half it still works really well. The thing that I probably should have done before is 
buy new brushes and filters. You should probably change these out like maybe every six months, maybe what the instruction manual says. I didn't go by what the instruction manual said. I thought my brush and filter were fine. And then actually when I purchased new ones like six or seven months later possibly, I noticed a whole big difference that maybe my old brush was like a little worn down and my filter definitely needed to be replaced. I purchased mine on eBay and I did see recently that you can purchase them Target online, but I, think eBay is a little bit cheaper all around because sometimes you get the whole package deal. I just use have, I just use the multi-surface brush. I don't have any of the other ones. So I don't know what it's like to use those, but I think this works just fine. And I don't think it leaves my floors super streaky unless I feel like I use way too much water or way too much like essential oil. Then I definitely think that it does leave a really streaky feel. So sometimes I just try to not use essential oils at all. Although spearmint it has to probably be, like spearmint and peppermint probably have to be my favorite ones to use. It makes my house smell really, really good. So I think that is it for my third Bissell Crossway review. So yeah, so if you're in the market for something or you're looking at something like this, I highly, highly, highly recommend this. This is obviously just my opinion. Nobody told me to say this. Nobody's sponsoring me. But Kathy, if you want to sponsor me, like I'm not going to be upset because I think I have had so many people watch these videos and go, yeah, I'm gonna buy one. And I'm like, hmm, good, because you'll absolutely love it and you will love it at home. But Kathy, if you're listening, right here, right here, girl. But all right, you guys, that is it for this video. This has been like a long time coming video, a highly recommended one. So I thought I would just do one last one. This is my like, year end review of how I've liked it throughout the whole entire year. So if you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know if this was helpful at all. I know I talk fast, but it's just, it's in my blood to talk a little bit faster than normal people. I do a ton of review videos. I do a ton of cleaning videos and I use this Bissell Crosswave constantly. So you'll see all the different ways that I use it. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.